It's Friday here at Bob's Magic Emporium. Time for the next all-new School of Magic. Classes in session every Friday right here at the School of Magic. It's the 4th of July, so happy 4th of July to all of you. And I have my 4th of July shirt on. I don't know if you can see that, but basically it has a eagle on it and a United States flag. It's really cool. All right, so for today's School of Magic, we're going to continue the ace uh, theme that we did last week. Remember last week I showed you how to produce the four aces magically. And today I'm going to show you a trick you can do once you've produced the four aces. So uh, here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to get these cards here. And I have the four aces. Now I'm going to go ahead and give you ace number one. So that's the ace of diamonds. We'll place the ace of diamonds down right here. And I'm also going to give you the ace of hearts. So that's going to go right here. Now, which two aces, actually if I tap the two aces just like this, that makes them switch places. If I tap, it makes them switch back. All right, that's a little bit of a joke. But now seriously, which aces did I give you? The heart and diamond. Well, actually, so you got to watch the magician because we're a little quick like that. I've got the heart and the diamond. If you turn it over, you've got the spade and club. All right, that's Doc Daly's last card trick. This is a very famous uh, ace trick you can do with the four aces. So all you got to do is you need the four aces for this trick, but if you uh, did the four ace production last week, I would recommend uh, producing the four aces like I taught last week and then doing this Doc Daly's last card trick. All right, so to set the cards up, you're going to need to go uh, one ace and then the another ace of a different color, then back to the original color, then back to the different color. So I'm going to start with the black ace of spades. Then I'm going to put the Ace of Diamonds, then the Ace of Clubs, then the Ace of Hearts. But you can certainly do um, the Ace of Diamonds on the bottom, and then Spades, and then Hearts, then Clubs if you want. Uh, the only thing is, if you do the um, black card on bottom and 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 number in the third position, they're going to end up with the black cards at the end. If you do it this way, they're going to end up with the red cards at the end. So it's it's up to you. I just like having the black cards at the end for some reason. I really don't even know why, but that's just my personal preference. So I do uh, spades, diamonds, clubs, and then hearts. All right, so this uses two sleight of hand moves. The first one is the double lift, and we've learned that before in the School of Magic, but I'm going to go over it again. Basically, what you do is on the back of the cards, if this is the back of the cards, you just use your thumb to count up one card and then count up two. Now, you don't want to make it, as I talked about before, you don't want it to be overly obvious with it. One, two, you don't want to do something like that. It's just a small little lift on the back just like this. When you get really good, you don't even have to do the, the thumb count. You just have to, because I can naturally just pick up two cards. Now, I've seen a lot of magicians do the double lift incorrectly, where they do something like that. The double lift should always be done at the fingertips. So, you get your two cards. Whoops, I grabbed three. You get your two cards. And then you just naturally turn at the fingertips. So notice when I do that, I've got two cards, but it looks like I'm just turning over the top card, like that. So you show the Ace of Diamonds. Ace of Diamonds goes in their hand or on the table, whatever you want to do. And then you do the next move. Now, I don't know the exact name for this sleight of hand move. If you know it, um, then comment down below what it is. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to thumb off the top card into your uh, left hand, but you're also going to turn these over at the same time. So what it looks like you've done is it looks like you are just turning over the uh, bottom card as you slide off the other two. That's the illusion you're going to go for. So it's going to be slide this about halfway over and then you turn it. Now this one I find is a lot, it looks a lot more natural to do it at the corners like this then to do it at the fingertips, then to do it at one corner like you would for the double lift. Basically, it's a reverse double lift is what you're doing here. Instead of double lifting from the top this way, for this other double lift, you're going from the, the bot, you're taking the bottom two cards and turning them over as one. So um, again, I find it more natural to put your thumb at the back, your middle finger up here, or it could be your first finger too, it doesn't matter, and turn them over at the two uh, corners like this. Instead of with the regular double lift, as I just said, you want to turn them over here at one corner. I find it a lot better when you do this way to turn it over at two corners. So you turn it over, you show this one, turn this back over. Now you're going to do uh, our, an original double lift here. So you're just going to turn it right over on top instead of putting it back on bottom. So you do the you do the turn, show the card, and then you place it right, place both cards back on top. 
This goes right there. And you've just given them what they think is a red card, but you know it's the black card. Now, I do a joke. I say if you tap them, they switch places. You tap them again, they switch back. That's a little bit of a joke. You don't have to do that. And then you want to do a lot of acting at this final point. Because at the final point, you want to turn these over and do a lot of acting. Like, wow, look, I've got the red ones. Turn them over. You've got the black ones. And it's and it's really cool because you want to make sure you really play it up. Because it's, it's a really good magic moment. And the best thing I would recommend is have your spectator like stand far over here and you stand far over here. Now, not too far where you can't really hand them the cards, but you don't want to be real close. You, you want to kind of be a few uh, feet back, like, a, a, like take one giant step back from them so that you kind of have to reach over when you give them the card. That way they don't think you're doing something sneaky if you're real close to them. So I'll go over that really quickly one more time. Uh, just like that. Perfect. So again, it's the... Uh, you start off, you can show the cards too. Oh, one important thing when you start the trick, you can do this too. A uh, little wiggle move. So basically what you do is just wiggle the cards around in your fingers like this. It conveys to your audience there's only four cards, but you don't have to do that. All right, so you start off by showing the cards if you want, and then you turn over, you do the double lift like that. Show the red card, place it on the table or give it to the spectator. Do your reverse double lift right down there. And turn that one over, place that down, do a snap, a wave of a wand, the tapping thing, and play it up as cards have changed, and then these cards have changed as well. All right, so that's going to be Doc Daly's last card trick. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you try the trick out, let me know your success stories or failure stories in the comments down below. Now, I am going to say one thing. I'm going to be at the beach next uh, this, this coming week from Saturday to Saturday. So there's going to be no School of Magic next week. Uh, we'll pick up the School of Magic. Class will be back in session uh, two Fridays from now. So enjoy your quick summer break here at the School of Magic. And I'll see you in two weeks for the next all-new School of Magic. Do you know how to mix up cards? You say, you are not cards. You are not cards. You get the, the two tubes and you get a certain amount of bottles. Let me grab one of the kids' show birthday party. Adults love the trick too, don't get me wrong, but I think kids actually looks. It looks like you're actually uh, taking and shuffling the cards.